Why, oh why, oh why does the Scottish government fund all these wind farms? It's windy enough in Scotland without them, and they must use a lot of electricity. Why don't they spend the money on power stations to produce electricity instead? Typical SNP, waste of money, if you ask me. Like, um... Hmm, this person not do even the quickest type of Google search for those big propeller things called windmills. Uh, this reminds me of something, I'm pretty sure it was Trump, that said something to the effect of, We can't afford wind farms because it will take away the wind, or some stupid shit like that. Anyways, Welcome back everyone, I'm Eros Mandax, and today we're going to be covering r slash insane people Facebook, where crazy people from all spectrums of social media show their true colors and show us how fucking crazy they are. So without further ado, without further introduction, let's begin. I told my tattoo, it's I want two scars on my face and blacking out my eyes. It was painful, but I did not twitch after he was done. I demanded a mirror for a mirror, he said. You know what, I'm not doing this one. I, I just can't. You know what? Some rambling on about Joker shit. He looks like the Joker leaning up against the mirror looking menacing. All I gotta say is... Well, I would say I want fries with that, but I don't think McDonald's hires people with face tattoos, so the best of luck winning your Joker look like contest, man. The best of luck to ya. Alright, let's do this by the books of wisdom. What I want from any female for a relationship. Female addresses me by master, owner, hubby, or god. Two female does not start drama, harass, or nag me. Female obeys all my commands. Four, female is loyal and never cheats. Five, female does not masturbate as all her sexual lust must be saved for me. Six, Female must be virgin before we meet and stay with me forever. Oh, <laughs> this guy's creepy. Ah, mm. Seven. Female must always ask for my permission for most things. Typical interaction between owner, <laughs> owner, uh, and female should go as following. Master, what's for dinner today? Female. Whatever you desire, master, I live to serve you, master. Go prepare the bed for sex. Female, yes, master, at once. I'm so exciting during sex act. What happened to dinner? Like, he said dinner, then... Okay, I digress. Oh, God, he... Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh lord, another one goes incomplete with this, mm, shit, motherfucker, okay. Ladies, we have a keeper, we have a person who is in, who is just one hell of a keeper. Better grab a number and get in line to be with this gem of a man. People using the Snapchat filter, cat, glasses, braces, cat! Snapchat disease, what is so wrong with the nose and ears God gave you? Your face is beautiful as it is. This strange bestiality has to stop. You are wonderfully made in God's image. Repent and get baptized. Serve God the way he made you. Love yourself. Love God. Stop being so insecure, not even for fun. How do, I, how do I want to say this in a polite manner? Let's not be rude to this guy. Let's try and be nice. <sighs> I bet he's fun at Bible study. There we go. 
There we go. Because we know damn well he ain't going to no parties. Random side note, if y'all want to ever get, well, either lose faith in humanity or get some unfortunate laughs, go to biblicalgenerals.com. This guy's fucking delusional. It's a fun, disappointing read sometimes. If you are white, you can't speak Spanish. Um, are you familiar with the entire country of Spain? <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, that awkward moment when you forget about an entire fucking country. Ah, <laughs> uh, fun times, fun times. All you do is read the first four chapters of the Bible, and you find out, one, <laughs> evolution is a lie. Genesis 1, 1. Two, there are only two genders. Genesis 1, 27. Marriage is between a man and a woman. Genesis 2, 24. Feminism is a lie. Genesis 3, 16. All religious roads don't lead to God. Genesis 4, 3 through 7. Enough. <laughs> to what? <laughs> Enough to make any liberal pee their pants. Kudos of repentancecry.com. We're going to be celebrating the 4th a little bit differently this year. From now until July 31st, a Ford dealership in Alabama is offering customers a Bible, American flag, and a 12-gauge shotgun when they purchase any new or used vehicle. Somewhere off in the distance, flying over the dealership, you can hear the American Eagle cawing its caw of liberty and freedom. <laughs> oh, Lord. Going on trial for guns a day on acid four hours ago. Update! I actually ended up fighting the prosecutor. Uh, now I'm on the run. Seven minutes ago. First off, if your acid trip lasts less than four hours, you might want to get a refund from your dealer. It's total shit in that case. Second of all, I just wish I could like see the recording of how this went down. Like, how he... Why he... What happened to make him fight the prosecutor? That's all I want to know. Is that too much to ask? I look back at my old posts, and you have people saying dolphins are mammals, yet dolphins live in the water and can't walk. Mammals live on land and walk. <gasps> Got us there. If dolphins are mammals, then how do they get caught in tuna nets? Only fish can get caught in those nets. Dolphins are clearly fish, as they always get caught in these nets. Stupid public school people. My dad is a marine biologist. I, I would love to hear what he has to say about this bullshit. Put a real mammal in water, and it would drown. Ha! <laughs> Dumbass. Oh, uh, look at the pot calling the kettle black. Okay. Now that the rainbow flag can be flown on government property, I want to start seeing crosses back where they've been removed, the Ten Commandments put in the courtrooms, and the Bible back in schools. I really wasn't aware the LGBTQ community was actually a religion. Hell. In that case, I'm pretty sure a service led by, like, RuPaul and this such would be a hell of a lot more entertaining than the boring-ass sermons I went through as a kid and such. <laughs> Matter of fact, I would even buy a ticket to see RuPaul lead, like, some gay religion service thing. It would be entertaining as fuck. And with that... I'm going to conclude today's video. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys got your tinfoil hat on with these crazy fucking people. I do greatly appreciate your guys' time. I do greatly appreciate your guys' support. If you guys want to join my Discord, it's on down below. 
Thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much for your support. And as always, I hope you guys have a good day. I hope you guys have a great night. I hope you have a wonderful whatever it is you decide to have. And I hope to see y'all next time.